Hey Codes crew, welcome to our luxury lake house cabin. Come on in. The entryway in the cabin is not necessarily meant to be the showstopper piece, but we do have some pretty cool artwork that kind of ties into the fact it's a duck hunting cabin and lake house. I do love this uh, console table and just kind of how it ties in with the concrete floors. Let me show you the master bedroom. This is the master bedroom. This is one of my favorite spaces in the house. Obviously got really cool different color tones and everything kind of ties into the fact that it's kind of a, a cabin, a, a duck hunting lodge. You can see the different artwork, a lot of the different memorabilia, some really cool Texas art. Anyway, it's one of my favorite rooms. I, I think that in a master bedroom especially, I love not having vaulted ceilings, something that's too tall and cavernous. I like that these ceilings feel comfortable. I love the wood and the different stain that we did on it, but my favorite part are the curtains. I think these are so, so unique. Obviously just a really cool um, ode to what we're doing here in the hunting cabin and lake house, and I've never seen anything like it. I also love at night that all you have to do is just click a button and all the automatic shades go down, but I like how they're woven so they don't look like something kind of cheap. They, they tie in to the different decor that we have in here. Come in the master bathroom. Obviously we're not trying to do anything crazy here in the master bathroom and most of the countertops that we did are all dark, super durable so that we're not worried about stains with kids and things of that nature. But I do love the color tones. I love this green with the black and I love how the black ties in against the vanities as well. Come take a look in the kitchen. One of the things I love about the kitchen are the butcher block countertops. You know, and I think in a city house, it's just hard to pull off butcher block depending on your style. So when you've got a lake house or a hunting lodge or something like this, I think this is really unique. It's black walnut. It's done by a company that specializes in it and they just nailed it. I think the most fun part of the kitchen isn't necessarily the crazy appliance package because when we're here, we're not really cooking that much. Um, we're usually barbecuing and smoking and things of that nature. And so I can show you that outside, but I just love the color tones that it's really, really comfortable. It kind of mirrors nature, the different stain colors. I love the different tile. Nothing's perfect here. Everything is kind of mirroring the outside in. And I just love that green and that black um, that we have throughout the house. So when you walk in the family room, the thing that I always look at and enjoy the most is all the vertical grain wood with all the unique stain. Um, when we did this, uh, we came up with this cool idea to have a chair rail and to break going from vertical to horizontal. And it's just a little detail that I think really makes a difference. And we also used a multi-layer stain, so it's not just a stain or a paint color. It has a lot of character to it. When we are here, we want it to feel woodsy and natural and we want it to feel like a luxury lake house. And so um, you can see that everywhere. You can see the beams, you can see some of the different taxidermy and the really cool um, elk antler chandeliers. But honestly, my favorite thing in this house is what we've done with all the upholstery and all the different textures and all the different materials down from the pillows, our super comfy couch. I'm obsessed with these swivel chairs and the custom ottoman. We're, we wanted basically every spot in the family room for you to be able to put your feet up. We didn't care if you had mud on your boots, we wanted you to sit down and just have a blast. One of the things that I love about the dining room is being able to have huge groups of people over here and everybody has a seat. We've got really fun island seating, we've got a really great table, and I know this sounds like a little thing, but it's the little things that are the big things. When you sit down at the chairs, your knees and your thighs aren't touching the table. And that's a big thing when we designed this. We wanted to get all the little things right. Come on outside, let's go look at the patio. This is where everything was built for. You can see behind me, this is everything. This view is why we built the cabin. We've got patio screens that go up and they go down automatically. We can keep all the bugs out. We've got a really cool fireplace. We can stay warm in the winter time and we've got a really great dining table where we can smoke meat, we can have parties out here and we have enough seating that we can have all of our friends out. Whenever we're having parties, like I said, we don't really use the kitchen a ton just because we're out here for the weekends, but when we're cooking out, we're smoking meat, we did a really cool built-in outside of the kitchen. Super convenient, come and take a look. So here, everything's screened in. We've got doors to be able to come in and out, but we've got a really cool grill. It's easy, it's convenient, it's right by the kitchen, and we can easily serve from the grill over to the outdoor dining area. 
come upstairs, let's go take a look at the bedrooms. I think a lot of the things that we try to do is we try to stay on trend. So you can see that with the artwork, you can see that uh, with these labels that we got made for all the different rooms. You can see that with the artwork that adorns all the walls, but by far, this is the coolest room upstairs. This is the bunk room, obviously. This is the camp out. You can see even the artwork that mirrors the name. And I think a lot of things that we didn't hear that bring it all together, just the tones of the textures of the blankets and the pillows, but obviously the ceiling's the coolest. We didn't do anything crazy, but come and take a look at the bathroom in the bunk room. A lot of the same themes. We've got a lot of that gray and black. We wanted to make things indestructible so that the kids that were staying here really couldn't do anything wrong. All the textures are very similar, but we've mixed it up in every bathroom and every bedroom. Nothing's the same, but you can see these tones. You've got the wood, you've got the black, you've got the black, you've got the gray. I love all the countertops. And we did the same thing in the shower. The real is our fishing inspired room. You can see it from the artwork and the label on the door, but take a look at what they've done here. I mean, we've got really, really cool tones and textures. Obviously, I love the colors in this room. Every time I come in here, I smile. Uh, it's got a door to go out to its own private patio. And then obviously we've got some really cool curtains just to keep that blaring west sun from coming in the room. All the bathrooms are different, but I love the soapstone countertops here and the mirrors that we've got hanging from the wall. Anytime you can take a mirror over a vanity and turn it from something basic to just a little bit more, I always love that. Come and take a look at the grounds, our last bedroom. So this is by far our coziest bedroom, but still really, really unique and really cool. We don't have a closet in this bedroom. We don't want anyone to stay too long. So we found a cool piece with our designers where you can still hang up your clothes if guests over the weekend wanted to do that. But my favorite piece to the upstairs and probably at least in this bedroom is the bathroom. Just look at that black on black with the countertops, the cabinets, that tile I think is really, really cool. We actually use that as a remnant from another project. I just love how that bathroom feels for a lake house cabin like this. Before you go, let me show you the heartbeat of a lake house cabin. It's actually the mud room. So this is where everything gets stored. All the duck hunting boots, all the fishing equipment, all the heavy jackets. We've got like kind of like country club locker style cabinetry. You can sit down, take your boots off. We've got a laundry room. We've got a wash sink. We've got everything you need here to store all your stuff for the weekend. Keep all the dirty stuff out of the house. Hey, thank you so much for coming. Love that you went on this little tour with us of our luxury lake house cabin. Hope you have a good rest of the day. See you later.